Now at noon, it's the story we brought to you yesterday. First on five, residents are fed up with a house surrounded by piles of trash. And today, city officials say they will be taking action immediately. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Neighbors of the Fairfax District home say they have complained for years and are concerned for their health. Mayor Karen Bass came by the house and says the city will take action today. KTLA 5's Corrine Winter live outside the home with the latest. Corrine. Glenn and Lou, this is what residents here in the Fairfax District along this street, it's a beautiful community, have been pushing for for quite some time. City leaders taking action. They're going to be sending crews out here to clean up that property, and they have quite a lot of work ahead of them, and that's because there's trash, there's junk, there is debris everywhere. We heard from an alarm, alarmed Mayor Karen Bass earlier today. She came out to the property. She spoke with reporters and uh, was quite upset about what she saw, all of this, um, this, this trash, this junk. And she said that she only became aware of the situation this week, despite residents saying that they've been complaining to city leaders for years now. Um, but the mayor saying that, you know, there will be some action taken with crews coming out. We also heard from the city councilman, uh, Katie Yaroslavsky. This is her district. She says that she's been aware of the situation uh, since December. So somewhere along there, there has been a breakdown in communication. Either way, there is going to be a response here with the resources coming, according to the mayor. So we'll see crews cleaning up the junk, the trash, the debris all around that cluttered home. And this is a video from today where we saw the homeowner leave as he does every day, according to residents, with a cart and bags to pick up more trash. This property is described as a trash house here in the Fairfax District. There's junk piled high in front of the yard along the 600 block of North Martell Avenue. There's even more debris on top of a car here on the ground all around the yard. The whole area is just covered with debris and residents have been concerned about the health risks. They don't know what's inside all of that bagged up trash. Then there's a fire hazard, a potential fire hazard here, they say. Back in 2014, city leaders, they ordered that homeowner to clean up the property. He didn't comply. They had to step in. They sent out their own crews to clean up the, the mess. They built that individual, but the problem still remained. This is just a tragedy. I mean, this is awful. And obviously, this has been developing for months. I, uh, I worry about the individual that is in this home. I'm not sure, maybe you guys know if he's actually there today. But one thing that I can tell you is that we are going to do everything we can to begin to clear this today. I don't want to hear about any process or whatever. This to me is a public health emergency. This is a fire hazard. And I worry about the individual there, this place catching fire, him losing his life. And so the work begins today. We're not sure when those crews will arrive here, but a tremendous job behind me. It's unclear if they'll finish everything today or if it'll, you know, have to go into tomorrow. Either way, the mayor says that they're going to get that job done. Residents here absolutely relieved at this hour, but they say once all that is removed, what's going to happen next? Will there be some sort of monitoring here? Will there be some sort of mental health assistance for that individual that they believe, you know, he needs some help on that end because they fear that he could just go out, get more trash, bring it back here, and that the process will start all over again. So that remains to be seen. The immediate focus here, cleaning up the debris behind me, and that'll begin today. We'll send it back to you now in the studio. Rescue efforts are underway after Taiwan suffered its strongest earthquake in a quarter century. The powerful quake toppled buildings and left dozens trapped in the rubble. At least nine people have died as rescuers search for survivors. KTLA 5's Lauren Lister is live in the News Center with the very latest developments. Hi, Lauren. Glenn and Lou, it was the largest earthquake to hit Taiwan in 25 years, happening during the morning commute. In addition to those nine people tragically killed, at least 1,000 were hurt, according to the fire department there. And aftershocks keep coming, 76 of them in just five hours. Take a look at this video showing the extent of some of the damage from that original 7.4 quake. One multi-story building tilting at a 45 degree angle and another one that was also partly knocked off its foundation. Crews were taking it apart piece by piece knowing 
it could fall at any time. The quake shaking Taiwan's east coast centered 11 miles south of Hualien, a city of 350,000 people. But even 100 miles away in Taipei, people say the shaking still registered as a very strong quake. The damage in Hualien is the most, uh, we know that the most suffering uh, compared to the, uh, my office uh, is located in New Taipei City, but we still can feel the strong of the quake. So yes, it's very strong. And now a search for survivors and victims. Rescuers here sifting through damaged, a damaged building. Tragically, in this case, they recovered someone under the rubble who did not survive. And here is what the shaking felt like in those early morning moments. That video captured from a home around 100 miles away from the epicenter. This was in New Taipei City. And this at a TV station broadcasting at the time. The quake struck about 8 a.m. local time, so people were rocking in the subway cars and in their cars on the road. Taiwan lies in the so-called ring of fire that circles the Pacific Ocean. It's where most of the world's earthquakes happen. Seismologist Lucy Jones says we should be thinking about how we would deal with an earthquake here. The earthquake could happen at any moment here. Right? We don't know when. So do you have enough supplies to get through, but also do you have the right plans? You know, have you talked with your neighbors? Have you talked with your family about what you're going to be doing? How do you get together with your kids afterwards? Those are all important pieces, too. And for us in California, having water, because our water supply is very vulnerable to the disruption from earthquakes. So all good reminders there. Now, the Taiwan quake and its aftershocks have caused at least two dozen landslides, not to mention damaged roads, bridges, and tunnels. We have video of some of that landslide activity coming up at 1 o'clock. That's the latest live in the News Center. Glenn, I'll send it back to you. All right, Lauren Lister, thank you. The L.A. City Council has approved a new plan to allow private security guards to monitor abandoned construction sites like the graffiti-covered Oceanwide Plaza Towers in downtown L.A. Under the new plan, private properties that the city deems, quote, an immediate hazard would be patrolled, but owners would have to reimburse the city for the cost. This is the latest step in keeping vandals out of spaces like these towers. The city is currently paying nearly $4 million to clean up and secure the tag towers. Officials say they will charge it to the owners. All right, now to another day of Powerball frenzy. Who will win the billion-dollar jackpot? We know the odds of winning. Not good, but <laughs> that's not stopping people from buying tickets. KTLA Vice Carlos Herrera is in Sun Valley, where many are hoping to strike it rich. Yeah, more than a billion dollars up for grabs tonight. We're at the 7-Eleven here on Roscoe Boulevard. This guy's is considered a lucky retailer. Just a few weeks ago, they sold a ticket that matched five out of the six numbers. That lucky person took home $2.4 million. And people today, well, they're hoping that the next big winner comes out of here again. Tonight's Powerball drawing is giving fortune hunters another shot at transforming their lives with two bucks a piece. It's the ninth largest jackpot in U.S. lottery history. $1.09 billion are at stake. It's been months since we've seen a big...